And yeah, it's okay, Headshot. We don't. We both actually do have the DLC, anyways. I just clicked on the wrong thing in the fast travel the first time around. No, he's talking about for uh, payday. Oh, okay. By the way, the sign out front says Hi. Moxie Grogging Girls. That is an awesome outfit. Hey, it is actually. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. She's Popper German beer frau. Try going around the other way to cut him off. Let's herd him in. Okay, I'm going the other way, even though he's not really looking like he's coming this way. I will eventually. See? <laughs> what? You didn't notice he exploded? Yeah, but I also lunged at him with it. Okay. So that makes it make sense then? Oh, a lot of things explode whenever I lunge special attack at them, okay? No, I don't think that's accurate. <laughs> we fought a fuck ton of robots. And that was not one. This is Mr. Torg. It... Yeah, that's why it happened. I just... Yes. Exclamation marks all over the map now. Uh, alright. Yeah. I hate it when the game has content. I just hate backtracking. <laughs> yeah, it's not that far. Choice of words, did you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> probably more than I probably sh I should have right there. Just <laughs> awesome. Hey, new quick, I got a problem. I'm supposed to be guarding this here town, but I ain't got any armor. Could you head to the forest and find me something that'll protect all this beautiful girl? Why are you even playing? We all know you aren't actually interested in nerdy stuff, muscle boy. What? I can't like geek stuff just because I take care of my body? Discrimination! Exactly. He sh Can we get rid of this phony already? Ladies, ladies! I have an idea. Adventurers, you must find the three hidden questions of true geekiness. Torg, if you can answer my nerdy questions three, then a part of this game you shall be. Okay. And then final quest exclamation point here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, sir. 
Sir Reginald von Bartleby, aristocrat and fiddlemeister. If you can solve I forgot game, about him. <laughs> well met, adventurers. I have a riddle for you. I am everyone and no one. Everywhere, nowhere. What do you call me? Everybody roll your insight stat to see if you can solve that riddle. I shall repeat the riddle. I am everyone and no one. How, what? <laughs> Oh. Don't slam your dice onto the board. You broke Tina's figurine. Whoops. Uh, you won. Yeah. I love about this village. <laughs> so what was the answer to the riddle? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we were rolling your stats to solve it. I have sadly done that as a GM. Just <laughs> here's this riddle. I don't really know the answer to it. I'm just going to go with the one that sounds the best. <laughs> uh, by the way, notice the name of this quest? Fake Geek Guy? Yeah. Yes, I get what is the joke on. Yeah, I like that. Social commentary in our silly quests. Although I am a little bit curious why this... Eastern European looking fantasy grim town sounds like Japan with the music. Yoink. Stole my kills, you ass. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, did you want me to let you do all the work? Uh, okay. First question. I found the first geeky question. Mr. Torg, in the Echo Show Space Journey in Space, what color shirt denoted that a crew member was likely to be eaten by Fred? Correct. On to the next question, adventurers. Correct. Because you're a muscly guy, we gotta make sure you're not faking geekhood just because it's trendy. When did geekhood become trendy? Um, in like the late, about 2005 ish or so. Yeah, actually, that sounds about accurate. About the time, uh, you know, the 90s kind of ended. <laughs> As the joke likes to go. Oh my god. Hurry the fuck up, you stupid thing. <laughs> yeah. Faster. Faster. So when do we get to blow up the ocean? Um, in about like a year when Trump realizes he has nuclear codes. And that was too early. Good job. I'm alive. No, not for long. Oh, I just fuck it. There's no way out of there. <sighs> One way out of there. Sweet, sweet death. Embrace the ocean. Too this, real. I was gonna say it's getting too real, guys. <laughs> Last question. In the twenty-third episode of the fifteenth season. 
Captain of Blue Box Adventurers, <laughs> what is the name of the ship that abducts the Blue Box? I don't, uh, I don't know. Oh, bad luck, Torg. Looks like you're not a real geek after all. Why? I'm just interested in sci-fi and fantasy and unicorns and... Why can't I be part of your game? <laughs> oh. Wow, I, uh, I feel like a dick. Me too. Torg, I, I'm sorry. I, you could totally join our game. You can give out side quests in town or something. Wow. He recovered from that real quick. <laughs> the saucy stallion in. Nice. You guys sure are the best. Where my mama didn't name me Mr. Torg. Wait, your first name is Mr. Torg? What's your last name? Flexington! <laughs> God. Magic, magic. Mr. Torg Flexington. Okay, let's see. Post crump apocalyptic. Let's get some crumpets. Alright. Alright. I should have made you get this one where you have to run across the rope, Mr. Ninja. Hey, you can have that one. <laughs> Alright, I'll go to the north one. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, evil spiders. It's not D&D &D without them. Great. Poisoned. Spiders, you know. <laughs> like the description of the crumpet. Buttery, nutritious, crunk. All of the crunks. What is a crumpet anyway? It is a griddle cake made from flour and yeast, traditionally eaten with butter. All I ever eat, son! Ever? Seriously? You should literally be dead. No, dog! I'll go live forever! She said with a mouthful of crumpet. What are you doing? Collect crumpets and docks of little importance. Okay, well, hang on. Let's just see if there's anything else in this zone first. Uh. Uh, Pick up the gun Moxie left for you, for example. Um, oh, no, that's another zone. Uh, let's see. MMORPG FPS? No, that's a different zone. I am right next to the crumpet zone thing, so... Okay, yeah. Go ahead. I just wanted to make sure before we ran off. Keep going. I got this one. Hello, Skellingtons. Follow me. Oh, it's Skellymans. Remember? Skellymans. Stop slowing me down, you archer bitches. Suicider. Oh. 
Never mind. It was just a uh, swordsman. Well, he's dead either way, so you know. Yep. He suicided by picking a fight with us. Am I right? I'm right. Alrighty, let's keep moving. There's these dice that I can roll here, apparently. Oh, uh, don't do that. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, so that's, um, that's an iridium chest. You spend iridium to open that chest. And then it, then it rolls the dice to determine how good the loot is. If you spend more iridium, you get to roll both dice. Yeah, I noticed that. Basically, at this point, the developers thought that pe players would have too much iridium and nothing to do with it. So they put in a new way for people to spend their iridium. But I think that was before they put in some other stuff that increased the, the shop limits, you know? Yeah. I won't tell anyone. The 50-point the, the iridium purchased used to be the most expensive one. But now there's 100. Wow, talk about being a uh, big boned here. You did that on purpose. You fellas meet the missus? Didn't you? That's my girl. I think you did that on purpose. Oh, it had to be on purpose. Well, he's got beep, a top hat, so he's classy at least. Uh, uh, just being hit from behind, behind. yeah. You son of a bitch, you're the one that was shooting at me. Yes, I wasted my special just to go do that to him. I don't yeah, care. The, the dice chests are one iridium to roll one die or five iridium to roll both dice. Fuck it, let's. I got extra iridium. I mean, spending one iridium is not that bad, right? So, what's in it? That's still weaker than my one. But... I got a new shotgun, finally. Yeah, it's a yeah, Torg special. <laughs> yeah, it's better. Uh, let's see. And it also does melee damage, but it is explosive versus... Yeah. Better on damage, mostly. And it doesn't kill me while using it. That's good. Unlike the one we've been using. Yep. 
Plus, I found that uh, I don't know if it's on purpose or or what, but for some reason, explosive weapons seem to do more damage than their actual damage listing would indicate. I don't know if it the explosion makes it so that the enemy gets hit multiple times or what. Uh. But they are nasty. Everybody gather together. Up, honey. Boom! Or not. Why didn't you boom? What the fuck is my turret? I'm very confused right Grenado! now. I second winded there, but I'll take it. I don't know. But I pulled the sword out of the immortal skeleton there. That's good. Because he's immortal while he's got the sword in him. Yeah, I kind of figured that when I kept. Hey, Amir Allen. Bring Allen. Yeah. And I'm guessing by join you mean sub, so thanks for subbing. Uh, nothing much. We're just playing sure through the last. Watching, either way. Yeah. Whichever thing you meant. Welcome. All right. Whoop. Everything. Everything else is forward from here now. So. Alrighty. Strange. PS4. Actually, no, this is on the PC. Damn right. Do you have any consoles, by the way? I have all of the consoles. Every I have one. I have the X. I have the Xbox, PS4, and the Wii U, uh, along with PlayStation Two, because I missed. Jump to three. Xbox on stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm here and it's uh, PC, and uh, we are actually he's recording this. I'm streaming this, so that we are, tend to be a little hesitant to let most people in. I've got a PS4, but uh, that's not what we're playing this on. I, I don't have the Xbox One, and I don't have the. The Wii U. Nothing about the re Wii U really grabbed me, game-wise, you know? Bug loves Kirby and a bunch of the Nintendo games. That's why we got that. I mean, there's a couple on there that look, look uh, cute and amusing, but... Uh, the Wii U is actually the first main... Tranquility. Boring. Hmm. Okay, good point. Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. I like the effect of all the leaves falling off. Everything's just dying in front of us. <laughs> Cleric Zed. Yeah, I was gonna say, the Wii U is the first main Nintendo console that I haven't gotten. <laughs> By the way, how's my sound? Do I still sound the same volume as before? Yeah, you sound fine. Okay. I've got it. The forest of being eaten alive by trees. Good name. Very straightforward. The first thing we see is a tree, of course. It has to be. Hey, they warned us about this in town. That's uh, stumpy. So we can't say nobody warned us. 
Oh, sweet, I leveled. Jerk. Right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily style said. Just stick to the main road and you'll be ace. There's a pixie. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a heart will grow out of your body or something. People like birds. You ever notice that? <laughs> There's what the uh, pixie looks like. Yes, Jack. No, the pixie. Oh. Uh, is it Lilith or Maya? That's no, Maya, isn't it? One of them. Yeah, it's uh, it's Maya. I'm I mean, like I said, it's on PC, and we're and you know, and, not and no, anyways. Yeah. Also, Zan isn't a word, by the way. Person. Thank you, Pixie. Did you jump the fence? Yes. God damn it. Wait, wait, wait. How in the hell are we supposed to kill these things? Jesus, level 70? Okay. Boom! Combat balanced! Combat balanced! These here is where the militia used to forge their armor before the sorcerer turned them all into skeletons. They ought to have something in my size right here. Damn! Looks like somebody hit the armor up in that here tray! Might want to give it a little love tap so it'll drop the goods. Oh, found the chest plate. Found a crumpet. Let me take a look at this. Found Ellie's armor. Jesus. <laughs> that ain't armor. Have you seen me? That little scrap wouldn't cover half a tip. Besides, it ain't like the bad guys are only gonna aim for the salsa bits. Find me something with some more hip to it. <laughs> now that's what we're talking about. Bulky, protective, and 100% badass. You got a choice, my hoes. Do you bring Ellie the bulky armor, or do you grab the more boo delicious metal bikini for her? Bulky. Bulky. I'm not Scooter. Nothing See, wrong with that. If... Boxy we were talking about, maybe. Yes. <laughs> We still have to find the crumpets. The crumpets. Yep. Find the crumpets, then go to the next zone. Although, I th yeah, that sounds better. That's better. Hey, headshot, welcome back. 
kind of amusing being at the power level where you can take a look at a pistol that does a thousand damage and think to yourself, eh, that's weak. <laughs> yep. Gems. Queen's got a lot of gems, doesn't she? Of course, she's a noble lady. She's gonna have a crap ton of gems. She's the noble lady. Okay. Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh reference. Yeah. They're making a lot of them. What? What reference? Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Where? What? How did that happen? Uh, Zero with uh, you just set off my trap card. Oh, okay. Yeah, he says that. He does say that a lot. That's the only Yu Gi Oh reference I know. Do me a favor, eat some salad. No, 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 no! I want to eat. Hold her arms. Break and keep her mouth open. No! You boot fascist! You can't! Oh, well, well. I don't want to bite you too hard, Rick. She puts a taste for love, we're going to have problems. You don't want to give Tiny Tina a taste for blood. I figured she would already have a taste for blood. Well, she has a taste for blowing people up. That's different. And then collect crumpets in the mind. Follow me. I believe the food went this way. You were so helpful, Dan. <laughs> 